I'm the daddy of a 12-year-old girl. So I've got to have a lot of stories. But sometimes stories happen and you don't know that they're going to happen. I was with my daughter while she was about nine years old, and I am doing the job that a daddy does on the weekend. Every once in a while, I took her out to shop. We had to go buy some stuff, you know, little tiny stuff, like the Lee press-on fingernails or the little ribbons that she liked to put in her hair. And she wanted a top and some shoestrings that match whatever kind of wristband she was wearing that particular week. And so I took her to the store. And we're going around inside of the store, and we get all the stuff. We put it in the basket, and we take that basket right up to the front. And I'm telling her, now, this is what you do. You take everything out of the basket, and you put it on the conveyor belt. And then it'll roll to the front, and then the lady will scan it, and the price will come up. So you stand up there, and you watch to see what prices come up as she scans it past the conveyor belt. And she looks at me and says, Daddy, I don't want to see that. Well, oh, baby, no, you know how, like, on the aisle where you get the things from, it might say $2.99, or maybe it says $4.33, and, and when she scans it, it'll be, it might be a little different, so you're just watching, it might be the $4.35, just so you know how much you have to pay at the end. She said, Daddy, I don't want to see that. And I, I'm like, what? Now I look. Now she's in the line. She's in front of our basket, but right behind the basket that's in front of us is a guy. And this guy is maybe about 12, I say maybe he's 14 years old, right? But he's a little bit tall. My daughter's only nine, so she's not really all that tall. And so he's about this tall and she's about that tall. But see, what it was is that the way he was dressed, see his pants, what happened was he had his pants uh, down below his waistline. And therefore, they were right about here where the top of his pants were. Therefore, the bottom of his bottom was right about the same size as my baby girl's face. So she's like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> I'm like, I am the daddy. And I should help in this situation. So I stepped up. I said, um, uh, yo, big little brother. Um, what up, dog? Uh, uh, see, right, see right there, that's my baby girl and everything, and I'm just taking her out shopping, you know, and so she's getting ready to buy things, but she's standing right behind you and see what's happening is that she's seeing the bottom of your bottom, and I just don't think that's right for a, ba a baby girl and everything. Oh, my bad, my bad. And he pulled them up. He pulled his pants up, and he s had a belt, cinched his belt, pulled it tight, looped it in, How's that, dog? Like, that's all good, bro. It's all good. I put my head, you know, he gave me one of the pounds. We got all of our stuff. We paid for it, and we went on out to the car. We get into the car, and I live in Chicago, Illinois. It's summertime, so we're driving up the street. Their cottage grove. It's summertime, so nobody got a shirt on or anything. They just all walk around with their pants hanging down. So she's like, Daddy, all we have to do is tell them. I said, really? She says, yeah, we should just tell them. So she rolls down the window. We drive a really old car, so we just roll down the window. <laughs> pull them up. She just like got a little lip sticking out the window. Pull them up. <laughs> we get to the house and we sit around. She's always telling me, Daddy, you're a storyteller. You can make up stories about anything. Why don't you make a story up about that? Because it would help everybody, because we just don't want to see that. I said, OK. I grabbed the drum, like I always do got my drum and began the rhythm. I started to play just a little bit, and she began to sing along. So why don't y'all do the voice that she would do? I would say the words like this. I say, pull them up, pull them up, pull your pants up. Why you walk around, let the world see you. Pull them up, pull them up, let me use my imagination. Pull your pants up and get a good education. Pull them up, pull them up. That ain't really cool. You walk around with your pants down at school. Pull them up, pull them up. Do your mama know? You walking around letting your underwear show. Pull them up. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Pull them up. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Pull them up. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it.
pull them up, pull them up, pull I don't want to see your pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Why you walk around with your pants on the ground, pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground, pants on the ground, pants on the ground. How you going to deal with your pants on the ground, pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Why you got your pants sagging? Walk around town with your pants below your waist. You think you're really cool, but it is a disgrace. I don't really know how you can show your face. Don't you know the clothes you wear outside that represent the race? Pull them up. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Pull them up. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. Pull them up. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Pull them up. Pull them up. Pull. I don't want to see your draws. Don't want to see your draws. Don't want to see your draws. Don't want to see your, I don't want to see, I don't, ain't nobody got time for that. I don't want to see them, I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them, I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them, I don't want to see them. Yay!